Hey everyone, it's Justin from Berries. Today we're going to discuss one of the most popular questions we field here at Berries, which is how to properly crimp our superior plated bullets. Crimping your bullet can be a critical part to the reloading process. In a cartridge that head spaces at the mouth of the case, a good taper crimp brings the case back to its required dimensions to chamber or gauge correctly, restoring proper neck tension to the case after rolling or flaring to seat the bullet. Roll crimping a cartridge case that head spaces at the rim or shoulder of the case also ensures that a bullet with a cantilever or crimp groove is seated securely, preventing the bullet from movement caused by recoil or other factors. Both methods of crimp are okay for Barry's superior plated bullets. Our bullets do not require a lot of crimp to achieve the desired results. However, because they are softer than a jacketed round, it can be very easy to over crimp. Here is an example of an over crimp bullet. You can see that the plating has been compromised by the overcrimped mouth of the case creating separation between the copper and lead core. This leads to accuracy issues such as keyholing and can increase copper fouling in your barrel. A good crimp leaves very little evidence of crimp on the bullet as you can see here. There is no rollover of the bullet at the case mouth and it is secure in the case. Gauging your loads with a high quality case gauge lets you know your round is at its proper dimensions and safe to shoot. A good caliper can also ensure if the mouth of the bullet is at the proper spec displayed on your cartridge drawing found in most reloading manuals or in the Sporting Arms and Ammunitions Manufacturers Institute manual found at SAMI.org. Hope this answers your questions. Feel free to reach out to us with any more you might have and check out all our great products at berriesbullets.com. We'll see you at the range.